All right, this is vlog number four. Little um, <sighs> update on my life. Well, today I just got back from um, hanging out with one of my good philosopher friends. And um, a pattern that I see happening in my life today is inspired action, you know? Oh, when I was talking with this philosopher friend, you know, he says that his faith is in action, right? And it, and it makes a lot of sense. And I keep getting this specific reminder that, you know, we can sit around and think all the good things and, you know, but if we don't act, if we don't do something with it, you know, I, another way to say this is God helps those who help themselves. And it's just this constant reminder to me, like, Troy, like, you can't get away from not, like, from not doing something. You have to do something. And, you know, I've been trying really hard these past few days, uh, just creating, you know, more writing projects and, um, like, this, this posture program that I'm wanting to do. And... This past few days I've been thinking so hard about it that I just needed a little separation from it to get re-inspired, you know? I needed to set that time to say, okay, I've been working really hard at this one thing. It's time to take a little bit of time away from it and um, see what it feels like coming back to it. And uh, as I did that today, it's like, even if it's uncomfortable when like, you're going through your creative pursuits or whatever you're trying to do, whatever project, whether that's like a project that you're making for money or you're creating a project for yourself, for your grandma, or like, I don't know, your personal development, like anything. You're not gonna get that inspiration. You're not gonna be able to do anything if you don't move towards it. And I have a lot of that um, theme come up in my life with motivation and, and un, like demotivation. Like some days I get myself into such a place of like, I don't get inspired to do anything, but I have all these crazy thoughts, but it's just static energy. It's not going anywhere. It just works itself up as anxiety or depression or whatever. Like just this, it, it works itself up into this an anxious place because I have all these ideas, but I'm not doing anything with it. They're just going like this in my brain. But when you're working on a project or you go for a hike or, you know, you do something physical or whatever, meditate, breathe, I don't know. It allows that energy to flow. We were, we were talking about um, how marijuana, cannabis, how cannabis is a, a hallucinogenic and it's, a, it's energy. And when you take that in your body, yeah, it can make you paranoid and it can make you anxious like it does for myself a lot. My door just opened randomly. Um, that when you ingest it, it it's going to take you for an experience, a ride. It, it, its energy has to be moved through your body, and you pee it out, you breathe it out. You know, you you metabolize it, and it goes through, and you come back to like sober. But when you're working, when you're working on something. You know, and this is how it's related. It's like you can use that work to channel that energy. It's the same thing when you get anxiety, or the same thing when you're when you ingest um, cannabis. It's like learning how to travel that energy out of your body. Learn how to create a product, or create a service, or or create an idea, or you know, yeah, go for a bike ride, a walk, a run, go lift some weights. Like move that energy around so that you know you can do you do something. And so just keep getting this, uh, yeah, this reoccurring pattern that um, just keep doing, keep doing. And, and I think part of me gets a little fearful about that because I don't want to just burn myself out. But 
I think that is uh, creating a problem where it doesn't exist because no one is saying you have to burn yourself out. It's just, it's more like be intentful with what you're doing. Whatever you do, bring intention to it and make sure that's what you want to be doing. Um, oh, there was another thing that we were talking about today was the idea of freedom. Freedom, that, that true freedom is in discipline. True freedom is in discipline. You don't need to be told what to do. You don't need to be told, told you know, new things. Like you, you have an open mind or whatever, but ultimately you, you know what you're creating. And you don't have to, yeah, follow the rules of someone else's dogma. And you create your own philosophy and you follow that. And, and you do that by sticking to principles or sticking to, you know, yourself, trusting yourself, sticking to it. And in that, in trusting yourself, you, you, you get that freedom because you're, you're staying diligent to your values or whatever it is that you, you've created for yourself. You know, my philosopher friend, you know, he said that some of those people that, that just do whatever and they don't, they're not doing anything, they're just whatever they want. How did he angle that? I think it was more towards like, you know what, no, I'm not even gonna go there, I'm not gonna butcher that, but it's just that, it's reminded me of like the, the, the illusion of comfort, that we want this comfort because it gives us this freedom, this good feeling, but it's like the more we seek comfort, the more that comfort evades us, the more that it's harder to be more comfortable because we build up a tolerance to it. And, it's like any drug. You need more and more and more. You need more and more comfort. So if you practice these disciplines that don't necessarily feel good, you can be free from needing that comfort. And you're, you're needing that security. And fuck, that's hard. That's really challenging to do. To be comfortable with what it is that you're experiencing. Even if it's uncomfortable. It's, it's, it's not even bringing... Un be making something uncomfortable comfortable it's just about like knowing you don't need the comfort it's like why we meditate we don't meditate to get rid of our problems we meditate dude a thunderstorm in the middle of november that's so weird it's getting super gray over there can't really see it in the camera but what if i do that Ooh, Ooh nice but as I said it's why we meditate you know we don't we don't meditate to have no problems we meditate to not like to, to, to let go of the illusion of having a problem you know like to de-stress, like there's no real stress to begin with. The stress is the the, the 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 stress is just something that happens. It's just stimulus. And how we perceive it, that's what makes us anxious. Another thing we talked about today, oh man, I love these conversations. That it was that like when we say when we describe things, like adjectives are not nouns. You know, and the example was like you know, something, whatever sucks, like this sucks. And it's like, well, sucks is like a, like you're using that as an adjective. You're describing something that is, but you're not presenting the thing that is. You're just describing it, which is fine. Like that's emotion. That's what gives life this, this feeling. But the logic there, the, the, the reality, like we're, we're talking about getting rained on right and I could say like man this sucks just getting downpoured like just soaked in rain and it's like the reality is that it's just water and it's on you sucks sure 
beautiful? Sure. Transcendental? Sure. Those are just describing things. But the thing itself, just water and you, that's what is, that's what's happening. It's this rain, it's just happening. You can describe it all you want, but it doesn't do anything, it doesn't change what it is. It just, change how, it just changes how we feel. And it's like, when we get closer and closer to realizing that, that you just stay in your fucking trust, like stay in your, your trust, trust yourself, stay disciplined to yourself. And the things that will happen will be revealed to you and inspired to you. And that's, I don't know, that, to me that just sounds like faith. Just have faith in it. So, the new pair of eyes, I'm going to keep working on this, this posture program and let it keep changing and morphing. Not trying to hold it into one category or hold it in, as to one way it needs to be. Just keep working and let it change as it as it, itself, and we'll see what happens. But this video is just for accountability. Just enjoying, enjoying my process, enjoying myself. Not doing this for anybody else. Just putting it on the internet. Yeah, if someone sees it, they see it. But this is this has been a really awesome way to document um, my thought process and, and maybe where I'm at day to day. So we'll see when it keeps getting harder. You know. I almost didn't do it because it was like, oh, you know, it's it's a little bit later in the day, but it's like, no, I got 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes out of today to like put forth an effort towards something, you know? So, what do you have 15 minutes to put forth effort to something that you want to put forth effort towards? What, what is it? You know, I might take a bath. Woo! Oh, man. This is the coolest feeling in November. Having this breezy, half sunny, half dark, rainy, like, wow, check it out, dude. Did it look over there? Clear skies, man. Just moving in. That's wild. There's a message in here somewhere, just like everything else in life. There's always a message in whatever you're experiencing. Cleansing. Cleansing. Oh gosh, that hail. What the? Wow, it's hailing. That is hail. Sleet, hail, something. I'm going to end on this and just enjoy it for a moment. All right. Thanks for listening, Troy. Thanks for listening. You, whoever. Peace.